Hello guys, welcome back to the channel for another Databricks video. Today's video would be about how to monitor Databricks jobs and Databricks workflows. Aside from checking your workflow status and whether those workflows run successfully or not, you can also implement a custom solution to store all this useful information about a job run, all this metadata, into a table and then query this table and see all this useful information. For example, the the job name, the job ID, the task name, uh, the number of records that this job processed. All this metadata about the job run, you can save it into a table and then query this table to monitor your data pipelines. In this tutorial, we have a sample code that you can change it, of course, and then add it to your own solution according to your needs and monitor your workflows. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Okay, guys, so we are in our Databricks environment and here I have a Databricks notebook that is doing a very, very simple job, which is to store some data into the target table, a pretty typical task in the data engineering planet. And uh, what we are doing here is create sample data for a department. We have the ID column, the department name, the value and the date key. So we create a data frame with this sample data. And we also have the target table that we want to store this data. Okay, so here in this function, do underscore stuff, here you place the logic, you place, the, you know, uh, you perform your data transformation, uh, you cleanse the data and all this kind of stuff. You place your own logic for this Databricks notebook. The key here is, for example, here we are saving the data into the target table. Pretty simple, right? But here is the next step is the key step here, because this is what we are going to demonstrate. It's how to save the job logs into a target table when we run a, a workflow and then query this table to see all this job information, this job metadata. For example, here I pass the operation parameter uh, which, is, which describes what is actually doing, what we are actually doing in this notebook. And then we also specify the target table where we are going to store all the job logs. Here is I have already mounted a container in our, uh, I have a storage account in our Microsoft uh, portal here. As you can see, I have the demo container and here inside the demo container, we are going to store all the job logs. So I have created a store job logs function here. I pass the data frame, the operation, the target table and the job log uh, directory. And all this information here, I'm using it up here. Uh, sorry, up here in the store job logs function. Okay, so now the most important thing here, we have to use the dbutils. You can use dbutils and then pass the spark. And from uh, the libraries, when it comes to libraries, you need to use from PySpark dbutils, import dbutils here. And here, this is the key part. We are using dbutils.notebook.entrypoint.get dbutils notebook get context and we convert it to JSON. And then using json.loads, we load this information here and we also print this information. You will see it when we run a job. And what we want to do here is create uh, create a dictionary with all the data that we want, right? So from this, from a job run, I, I chose this information. You can choose other attributes as well. For example, for me, it was very important to have the job log ID, the run ID, the job name, the notebook ID, the user, the cluster ID, the job parameters count, the start timestamp, which we use daytime.utc front uh, from timestamp, and uh, we convert it to, to timestamp because it's a Unix date, and then the task key, the operation, the target table, updated rows, and the processed um, when uh, the timestamp that this uh, all those uh, records were processed, right? And here we have all this data. And then I have another function called save underscore jobs underscore log. I pass this, uh, this data here. And here we also pass the target 
uh, table for where to save the job logs. And in this function here, I define the JSON schema and all the data types for all those parameters that we have. If there is no existing delta table, then we create an empty data frame with this schema and then we create an empty table and then we populate it with the data that we passed uh, here in the log data parameter, which is the data that we have here in this dictionary. And uh, we append it to this target table. So now, if we go into our workflows and create a job, so let's create a job here. Let's call it job underscore one, and then the task name would be job task underscore task underscore one and the type is notebook and we select this notebook here cluster the cluster i have and we create the task and here now we can run this job and see what we get so let's see what we get uh, we are running this databricks notebook here and in theory so we have to store the we have to perform the actual logic which is to store this sample data that we have into the target table this uh, sample data here we have to store it into the target table which is a uh, named department so we need to be able to see uh, that this table here has data and then also see uh, in this director here all the job logs all the data that we kept here right that is coming from the job run so let it run and here remember here we have a print statement right here we have a print statement and we use json.dumps and uh, we print all the data that we get from a job run and if you scroll up here you will see we have root run id current run id job group job name operation id uh, all these attributes here notebook id and uh, here the language organization id uh, all this information here notebook full path start timestamp job id session id very very useful information that you can query later on so you want this information to be stored in a table and this is what we are doing now so let's go into our uh, here let's query the target table so the target table is the department table and it should have data right the sample data that we created and here we have the uh, data yeah for the target table here uh, apparently uh, you can implement your own logic but this is the most important thing to query this uh, directory with the job logs and here in this table with in this delta table we have the job log id the run id job name notebook id user cluster id job parameters if there are start timestamp job task uh, one operation um, operation the department store details the updated records so we uh, processed eight records and this is the process timestamp very very useful information that you can query later on and see which pipelines run successfully and if they didn't uh, to find more information about this job run okay so let's go into workflows again and create another workflow for the second uh, notebook actually let's go to the second notebook here and here it's uh, exactly the same thing but the sample data is a different uh, is different so we have uh, information about the person the id the name and the age and we create the data frame and we save this data into a target table called person and here in this do stuff uh, function we perform our logic and then again the operation here is person underscore save underscore details because this we save information about the person so different operation than the last one but the target table for the logs is the same and again we are using the same function exactly the same function here with all those parameters all those parameters stay the same so you can also you can keep these functions as is you don't have to change it usually i place those functions 
in uh, Python wheel and I use these functions regularly when I run job logs, uh, job, uh, when I run jobs. And here again, we pass the job schema, which is exactly the same, same logic. So these two functions here, this save job logs function and this uh, store job logs function, you can keep them the same as is. You don't have to change anything. You just add the attributes that you want here in this dictionary and you uh, select from this uh, JSON that we get back from dbutils and you can select the parameters, the attributes that you want to store. Pretty simple, right? Now you can format your uh, Python code uh, however you like. I just used uh, two functions to perform these activities. You can uh, do whatever you want. So uh, here also we have a widget uh, from the environment and let's say that we pass a job parameter because remember here for example we have the job parameters count in the first one we had zero right because uh, we didn't pass any job parameters now if you scroll here you see job parameters count is equals to zero and now let's create a new job called job2 job underscore 2 job underscore task underscore two notebook workspace select the notebook that you want the cluster the current cluster and here actually in the job parameter you can place you can place the environment parameter let's say you pass UAT here right you save that and you don't have to change anything else here so you run this let's see this is running. Uh, in the meantime, you just need to import all these things here, the SQL types and uh, PySpark, the BUTILS, JSON, and from Delta, you need to use to import the Delta table and the date time. Uh, and here we are running this notebook. Here we have, again, all this information you can see. Uh, job ID, job desk, uh, type, uh, all the user, all these uh, attributes here, you can get the data from all these attributes. There are many, many information, there is a lot of information here, many, many attributes that you can save into your table, very useful information. So now we run this, right? And uh, here now, if we query, first let's query the person table to see that we have saved the data. Yeah, we can save the data. As you can see, we have three records. And now if we query again the job logs table, you will see we run the job underscore two. Notebook ID is this one. The, uh, you, the same user, the same cluster ID. And here the job parameters count equals one because we passed one job parameters, uh, one job parameter. And we have the task key underscore two and the operation name and the target table and the uh, records that were processed and all this cool stuff. So this is what I'm using to store this. I'm using uh, all those attributes to store into the job logs table. So later on, I can query this table and see and monitor my Databricks workflows and jobs. Very, very useful to do. This is it for today, guys. I hope you found this video very useful and insightful. I'm going to upload the code into GitHub so you can play around and uh, take a peek. Very easy implementation, but at the same time, very, very useful to add it to your solution to store the necessary information about your workflows and jobs and to be able to monitor your jobs very easily and query past runs. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.